in your baptism, you are professing. You are saying, I believe in God the Father, the creator of heaven and earth. You are saying, I believe in Jesus, his only son, who was born of a virgin Mary, who lived a sinless life, who was crucified, who died and was buried, but he did not stay dead. He rose again. And because of his sacrifice, you have the opportunity to be reconciled to him. And you are saying, I believe in the Holy Spirit who is active and who is my advocate. And you are saying, I am a sinner. I have done wrong things, but Jesus has rescued me from that life. And he has given me a new life. And if you want to profess that today, publicly with your baptism, say yes. And I just want to say, you are loved by God. You are known by God and you are a new creation. And so we are going to celebrate some baptisms. Let's get excited about what God is going to do. All right, all right. Is it Tamia? Come on over. Everybody say hi to Tamia. Can I help you in? Okay. If you want to go ahead and have a seat. Tamia. I just want to encourage you that God sees you, he knows you, he loves you wholeheartedly. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for you and to resurrect from the grave to give you new life. And because of your faith in him, you have been washed clean, made whole. You are his daughter. And, and I want to encourage you too that Jesus himself was baptized and when he was baptized, scripture says that the heavens opened and the spirit descended on him like a dove and, and the voice of the father spoke and said, this is my son whom I love with whom I am well pleased. And in the same way, God, your father is saying to Mia, you are my daughter whom I love with whom I am well pleased. And so I, I'm just so encouraged, so honored to be able to baptize you because of your profession of faith in Jesus. It is, it is such a privilege. So I, to me, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Up next, we have Antonio. No, it feels nice. Yeah. Feels good. We got it. We got it pretty dialed in. Does it feel okay to you? Yeah. Yeah. See, I told you. Yeah. A little, all right. I'll let him know. Could be a little warmer next time. A little bit, but that's all right. That's all right. Um, Antonio, when Jesus was baptized, that was at the very beginning of his ministry. Uh, it was before he ever performed a miracle. It was before he ever healed anyone before he ever preached a sermon, before he ever did anything for God, God said, this is my son with whom I love, with whom I'm well pleased. So the point is this, God didn't say he loved his son Jesus because of what he had done. He loved him because of who he was. And in the same way, God is looking at you right now and he's saying, it's not about what you've done or haven't done. It's the fact that you are his son and because you were his son, you've been adopted into his family. And because of that fact, he loves you and he is well pleased with you. So because of your profession of faith, Antonio, it is my honor and privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So we're going to pray over these individuals. This is a uh, final call. If you're wanting to get baptized, we can still make it happen. Um, and uh, man, we, we love celebrating spontaneous baptisms. We're willing to do it. But otherwise, um, we're going we're gonna to pray over these two individuals at this time. And so if, uh, if both of you wouldn't mind standing and actually coming a, a, a little 
closer over here. We're going to invite people who are family, friends, loved ones, uh, prayer team members, just anybody who's part of the body of Christ who's near, near the front. We want to come and surround them. We want to lay hands on them. We want to uh, just pray over them and bless them at this time. So um, come on and do that now. Anybody and everybody that feels comfortable making their way to the front. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask everybody else if you would be comfortable just extending your hand toward them at this time. We're going to pray a prayer of blessing over each one of them. Heavenly Father, we just say thank you. We thank you for the miracles that we've witnessed here today. We thank you for new life in Christ. God, we thank you that the old is gone and the new has come. And we thank you for the public demonstration of that fact through baptism here today. And Jesus, we just pray a prayer of protection over both of these individuals that you would um, that you would guide them, protect them, lead them, that you would cover them with your armor. God, we, we pray that you would fill them with your Holy Spirit, that you would continue to lead them to the things that you have for them, the good things. God, I pray that you would give them ministry, that you would give them incredible opportunities to, to advance your kingdom. They are, they are not called to sit on the sidelines. They are called to be participants, to empower them, that you would equip them with, with gifts. God, that you would strengthen them, that you would fill them with courage, that you would continue to refine them and continue to do a mighty work in each one of their lives. And we also pray against the schemes of the evil one. We pray against the attack of the enemy that wants to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And we just rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And we declare, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. And so God, we just say, have your way. Have your way in, in, in these two individuals' lives, but in all of our lives. As we go from this place, we pray that you would have your way, that we would all remember our baptism, that we would all remember what you have done for us, and that we would walk out our faith in boldness, following you all the days of our life by the power of your Holy Spirit. We love you. We trust you. We pray this all in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. 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 Come on. Come on, church. Let's celebrate.